9.5 meters below space and time. This crash did it. So how much interest? Well, I'm going to take this vector equation. And welcome back to Physics Teacher. This is going to be our third episode in our Math with Python, Python series. And in this episode, we're going to look at plotting multiple functions and solving multiple equations for multiple unknowns. So let's start with um, the quadratic equation, but we're going to start it uh, off in a standard form. So meaning ax squared plus bx plus c. So from Simpy, I'm going to need to import a few things one symbol as we learned before and the solve function and since i'm going to do ax plus bx plus c i need a lot of symbols here i need a b c and x so let's define all of those symbols so x equals symbol for x let's do a a equals symbol for a and b is symbol b and finally c is symbol for c all right so i've defined all those now our expression i'll define the expression that's our quadratic equation so a times x squared plus b times x plus c and remember that all equals zero. You have to set it up so that it equals zero. Now what I want to do here is I want to solve it. Now we did this before, but we clearly had um, values for our coefficients, coefficients a, b, and c. And so Python simply solved for the only unknown that existed, x. But in this case, there are four unknowns. So how are we going to tell Python which one to actually solve for? So we're going to write solve. And we're going to solve the expression and we're going to hit comma and we're going to solve it for x and of course we're going to write a dictionary equals true because there could be multiple solutions so we need to create that list okay so if you run that it's going to solve it uh, but it won't print anything so let's do a print and we can do a pretty print so why don't i go back and import pretty print and so pretty print all of this so now if we run right, so here we get our uh, quadratic equation we have one solution which is minus b plus the square root of minus 4ac plus b squared over 2a and we get um, minus b plus the square root of minus 4ac plus b squared over 2a so you have your two possible solutions there now if you knew exactly what you wanted a b and c to be i remember we did this before we were able to substitute those values in so we would write uh, the expression dot subs and then we have our um, double bracket so this bracket and then our curvy bracket and for a we can um, substitute well pick a value four for example um b let's do two and c so nine all right so if we did that and ran the program it would substitute those values and solve and so here are your two possible values for x now let's say you wanted to solve two equations for two unknowns. So let's say we had um, these two equations. Let's just pick some linear equations. Maybe 2x plus 3y equals 6. That's equation 1. And 3x plus 2y equals 12. And you wanted to solve those two equations for two unknowns. Let's go over the code to do that. So we'll start from scratch here. And from Simpy. If you're not sure what to import, um, or if there's a lot of things to import, uh, you can just import everything by hitting star. So it's the little shortcut there. So from imp, uh, simply import everything, uh, let's use the symbols x and y. 
So x equals symbol for x, and y is symbol for y. All right, so we had two expressions. So let's uh, call um, an expression one. It was a 2x plus 3y minus 6. Okay, we're going to have to do the minus 6 because, remember, we have to set the expressions equal to 0. So bring the 6 to the other side so that your expression equals 0. So we're going to have 2x plus 3y minus 6. So our expression is 2 times x plus 3 times y minus 6. So that's our first expression. Uh, let's do our second expression. We'll call it exPr2. doesn't really matter what you call it. And it was 3x plus 2y. 3 times x plus 2 times y equals 12. So bring the 12 over, so subtract 12. All right, so we want to tell Python to solve these two expressions. So we're going to write solve, and we're going to do expression 1 and expression 2 in its own brackets with a comma separating them. Now we don't need to tell it to solve for x and y. It's going to solve for them because those are the only two options. You have two equations with two unknowns, so it's just going to solve for them. So there's no need to do that. But there could be multiple solutions. We don't know, so we do want to create a list um, by setting dictionaries equal to true. All right, so that'll solve it. But again, um, you might want to print it so we know the results. So let's do a pretty print of all of this. We run the code. And you get x as 6 over 5 and y as 21 over 5. There, that easy. All right, so next what we're going to do is to print multiple, or to plot, sorry, to plot multiple functions on a graph. So let's say we had two functions. Well, um, let's do linear ones. So let's say we have y equals 2x plus 3, and y equals 3x plus 1. All right, and we wanted to plot these. So let's start over. I'm going to keep from simply importing everything and our symbol x. All right, and I'm just going to write plot. And what I can do is I can separate each um, function with just a comma. So I can plot 2 times x plus 3 and a 3 times x plus 1. Okay, so if I run that, all right, so we get our two plots. Now, in this case, they're linear functions. It's easier to tell the one with the larger slope is our 3x. But what if there were a more complicated function? You didn't know which one was which. So what are we going to do? We can actually assign a color to each one, and we can also create a legend as well. So what I'm going to do is next to plot, I'm going to label this as p. So I'm going to set a variable that I just created um, as p to the, be the, the plot of these two functions. And I'm going to create a legend. So comma legend equals true and show equals false. All right, now what I can do, since I have um, a legend, I can create a list. And I can say, if you want to assign um, the first thing in a list for p, I would do p at 0. So the first a value in our list for p, which in our case is 2x plus 3, right? That's the first value. So I've pretty much created a list with two values. P of 0 is 2x plus 3, and P of 1, which would be the next one in the list, would be 3x plus 1. So I'm going to say um, this one dot, I'm going to give a line color, right? Yes, there's no U in color. <laughs> a line color, and we're going to set it equal to B for blue, right? And then for the second value in our list, which is our second uh, function, I'm going to give it a line color of let's do red right? and now before i i said don't show it yet now that i've assigned colors to it i'm going to show it and since it's a function i'm going to put just empty brackets there so now if i run there you go you get different colors and you get a legend showing which one is which
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that episode of Python. There's some more coming, so I will see you next time.